Hey everybody, how's it going? Marcos Viegas here in Las Vegas being joined with Jared Anderson who fights on this Fury vs. Wilder 3 pay-per-view in Las Vegas. Jared, man, I hear so much high praise from you and, and that you're the future of the division and that you're the next heavyweight champion. You as a fighter who's still learning, has still uh, has uh, who's still growing, how do you take that and, and not let it get too much over to you? Like where you're grounded? Um, I believe that I'm the best, but I believe it humbly. Um, I believe without hard work, there's nothing. Um, so I'm going to continue to prove and show that I've been working hard and that I'm the best. Yeah, you, you've been in camp with uh, Tyson Fury now for what? Uh, how many weeks? Well, we started off, we did like six. Uh, and then we, of course, we got postponed. Um, and then we finished up with another three. Um, so all, all around like nine weeks. Wow. For a, a young heavyweight fighter? Uh, that must be such a, a great uh, learning experience. Uh, how was that experience of nine weeks with Fury in, in, in this camp for his preparation with Deontay Wilder? Um, it was good and it was it was good and it was explosive. Um, I really had a fun time. You know, they are good people to be around. Him and his brother, um, they definitely know how to uh, have a, a good time in the gym. You know, make us smile, um, laugh a lot, um, and we real playful guys. So um, it's a, a challenging, but at the same time, fun outcome. Um, and I believe we're both going to become. I mean, come out victorious on Saturday night. How is it sparring a guy like Tyson Fury? Because he's so quick, he's so awkward, but obviously you have a lot of skills as well. Like, how, how is it sparring a guy like that? Um, it's tedious. You know, we all have, we have to be, we have to stay sharp because um, we know we both have some type of punch, um, popping our punches, um, and we both got some speed, and our determination to win is unmatchable. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, a, it's just a good time, um, and we make each other push each other. How much are you winning right now? I have no idea. Have no idea. No. Tyson's like 275, so I would imagine, like, how is it dealing with that size? Are you close to 270? Probably, at the most, 240. 240. Yeah. So how is it, like, moving with a guy that is, like, 270, like, in terms of, like, feeling the weight? Because, obviously, the more fights you win, you're going to get closer to guys that are that big as well. Right. Um, well, I believe I, I do real good with him. Um, even with the size, I move a lot. So I'm not going to let you put the weight on me, you know, and have to deal with that. Uh, so... I have to deal with my own weight because I'm staying on my own feet, you know what I'm saying, and I let you pressure me into it. So I think I excuse me, do pretty good um, with his size and with his weight. How was the whole COVID thing with the breakout over there at the gym training? Like, did that affect you in terms of how you are, like, peaking and preparing and all that? Um, no, I stayed in the gym. We stayed working. Um, we made sure our sparring partners were COVID-free, and we can we continue to work, and we've been steady with our uh, program ever since. No, I, I meant when, like, Fury ended up getting COVID. Were you part of that group? That no, I, I actually didn't get COVID in that um, instance, and I went back to Houston, and, like I said, we continued to work, and we, nothing ever changed up with me. Oh, that's good. You lucked out because I know it hit a, a lot of them, you know, yeah, pretty hard. I had it before, but I had it when it first broke out, um, and I haven't had it since. Yeah. Got those old COVID antibodies. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> what advice has Fury given you uh, as a young fighter that you feel that you could take and that you're going to remember coming into your career as it blossoms and it continues to grow? Um, keep pushing. Uh, never, never let what where I make it to um, peak what I, I'm doing. You know, continue to strive and to want to be better. How do you see the main event? Spending so much time with uh, Tyson Fury, how do you think it plays out? I don't think it goes farther than seven in Tyson's Fury. Yeah. I mean, in Tyson's uh, uh, favor. Why do you feel that? Um, we worked hard. You know, we did a lot of different things, and we push ourselves. I don't believe uh, Deontay can keep up with what we have coming. So you, you think the key in this fight is going to be the the conditioning of Tyson? Because a lot of people said that he hasn't had a, a great camp. You've been in there with him. Can you dispel any of that? I can. All I can say is Tyson is coming with everything he has, and Deontay has to be ready for that. Yeah. In terms of you, okay, this is a big heavyweight stage. There's a lot of opponents there, and I immediately thought, man, at some point, Jared can end up fighting some of these guys. Like, are you looking at some of these guys with a keen eye, like, hey, they could be potential future opponents for you? Um, when the time comes, the times come, because you never know. Uh, as he said, he was, let's say, Robert Helena said, my box for 20 years. He may want to retire in the next two years, and I may not get a chance to fight him. So, um, of course, we look at him, but when the time comes, the time comes. Last question, Jared, because I know you're running on short time. Big Baby is uh, your nickname, and it's going to be two-parter. How'd you get that name, one, and have you spoken at all to Jarrell Miller, who is also Big Baby? Um, it, it just came from being a bigger kid at a young age. It kind of stuck with me um, later on in life, um, and that's why I kept it. It, it was a kind of a, 
it wasn't controversial um, with the names that I had before, so that's why I stuck with it. And the only time I spoke with him was after my second pro fight. Um, we shook hands and stuff, but we never like spoke on the name or anything, and I haven't spoken to him since, no. Well, Jeremy, man, thank you so much. A good chatting with you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.